Hi, welcome to Q&A with RF Smart. My name is Sarah Archer and today I'm joined by Scott Sellers and Rachel Warren. They were instrumental in developing counting functionality for RF Smart for Oracle SEM Cloud and they are bloggers over on the RF Smart website. They have a blog series called Nerds Eye View. They're joining me today to talk a little bit about counting. Thank you so much Scott and Rachel for being on the show. Nice to be here. So let's just jump right into our questions. Um, can one of you explain the difference between physical and cycle counting? So the difference between physical and cycle counting is really a question of scheduling. So cycle counting is something that you will do little and often, whereas physical counting may be done once or twice a year. Let's just talk through the different kinds of counts. Can you guys give examples um, and talk about the processes there? Yeah, I can try and answer this one. Um, so for both uh, physical inventory and cycle counting, we have both directed and manual. So at a really abstract level, um, directed is more sort of schedule counting. That doesn't apply so much to physical inventory. It's more for uh, cycle counting. But it's sort of you've scheduled to do, right, I'm going to count this aisle, this shelf, this rack today and you're going to do it, whereas the manual is more ad hoc. You're just, right, I need to, I'm going to go and count this, and it's not really planned, if, if that's the correct phrase. Maybe Rachel can elaborate there for me. I'm going to add, so on physical inventory, um, so the main differences between physical inventory and cycle counting. So um, in cycle counting, in Oracle, you have two distinct processes. Um, so you have the scheduled cycle counts, uh, which Scott just uh, spoke about, and then you have the manual cycle counts, which are more of the ad hoc counting. In physical inventory, there is just one counting process in Oracle. Um, we split that out into two processes within RS Smart to give a little bit more flexibility to the users and to the customer. So Scott, you actually worked to develop this functionality. Can you share some stories from that experience and maybe just elaborate on your thought process behind it? So the main feature that I worked on uh, personally was the physical inventory manual. Uh, the main reason behind this was customers were wanting the physical inventory workflow, so we had a demand to meet. The second thing uh, behind the manual process was to make it as flexible as possible. So how this works is you will count or you'll enter the thing that you wish to count. And if it already exists in Oracle, so there's a tag for it, then it will update the count for you. If not, it will generate them. It was an enjoyable process. I was in with Mitchell and uh, other members of our of our team, they're all very knowledgeable, so it makes life easier for me. And Rachel, your customers are actually the reason that this got developed, right? Just a little push from you. So can you tell tell us a little bit about that? So from the day I started RS Smart and started working with the customers, uh, nearly every customer asked me, when is physical imagery coming? When is physical imagery coming? And that's because a lot of the customers still have the, uh, the need or the, the audit need to undertake a physical inventory once or twice a year. Um, so for these customers in particular, cycle count, they do undertake cycle counting, but they also need to meet the audit standards um, by doing a physical inventory once a year as well. Um, so at the time, we were still waiting on Oracle to provide us the web services. Um, as soon as they were out, um, that's when we got going on this. Um, this is quite a personal uh, thing for me as well, coming from a background where I worked in uh, warehouse management. And I actually had to do the physical inventories. And when it's a, a non-mobile uh, process and you stick with Oracle, um, it involves printing out a lot of sheets of paper and a lot of handwriting and then a manual um, hand, you know, input back into Oracle. So having a mobile solution uh, is just a godsend for customers, really. So, Rachel, what is a piece of advice that you would give to a customer who might be implementing this? So the main thing to remember, um, so cycle counting, um, you can get on with your daily life while you're cycle counting. So Oracle and RSMART will take into account all transactions that are undertaken in the background or at the same time as you're doing your cycle count. And you can really just, just do your counts and, and forget about them really. Um, whereas for physical inventory, um, this is a bit more of a bigger undertaking, um, but ultimately it pays off in the long run. So for a physical inventory, it does require a shutdown of processes, uh, whether that be for a day or for a weekend, however big your warehouse is. Um, I do recommend that all your transactions are up to date, all the paperwork is up to date, as Oracle will not take these into account once you start counting your physical inventory. Can we just see a quick demo? Um, Rachel, I think that you uh, might be able to share that with us. 
All right, so what we've got then, so on, over on the left-hand side of the screen, we have the um, Oracle open with the physical inventory, um, record physical inventory tags screen. And then over on the right-hand side, we have RS Smart um, just displayed in this mobile device here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through a quick um, manual physical inventory um, so you can just see the process. <clears throat> so let me just come out of here and go back in. Okay, so the first screen you'll let me ask for is the organization in which you're counting. So in my case, it's 001. It's then going to ask you to input your physical inventory name. And this is quite important because this is going to relate back to the physical inventory that's been defined within Oracle. So we're going to use this one here. It's then going to ask me which sub inventory I'm counting in. So in this case, I'm going to scan my sub inventory. And then it's going to ask me to scan my locator. I can also choose from a list to see all the available locators, but I'm going to scan a barcode. And then it's going to ask me to scan my item. And again, I can type this or scan a barcode. And then it's going to ask me to input the quantity that I've counted. So right here, we're going to put a quantity of 100 and we're going to confirm that we've counted in eaches. This is going to go ahead and process this count through to Oracle and you'll see a green success message at the bottom. And then it's going to ask you if you want to print a couple of labels. So we have a few labels available uh, within physical inventory manual. So we can print a tag label. So if you need to mark your items up as counted um, or the date or counted by for whatever reason. And then we also have an item label. So if you, for whatever reason, need to print out a new item label because the one's damaged or it's missing a label, you can also do this here as well. You can also turn these screens off if you don't need to print any labels. And then it's going to loop me back around to collect the next locator to count. So if I come back over here into Oracle and I just hit search on my physical inventory in here. And what you'll see is it's found a tag that already existed from the information that I entered. It's entered the count quantity and it's also updated the counted by as well. Um, and you can go ahead and count the remaining, remaining tags. If there wasn't a tag existing in Oracle, what would happen is it would create a new tag so long as um, dynamic tags are allowed against a physical inventory. Well, thank you, Rachel and Scott. To those of you who are watching, thank you. If you've got questions about today's video or you'd like to see a custom demo of what Rachel just showed us, please feel free to email us at info at rfsmart.com. Um, in the description of the video, there's also going to be a link that you can click to schedule a custom demo. We have a ton of resources around counting functionality on both our YouTube channel and our website, so please check out those resources as well. Thanks again, Rachel and Scott, and we will see you all again soon.